do the God's dream. I don't think I dreamt at all last night, though I know for certain I was somewhere far away. I don't think I dreamt at all last night, though I was abed, but not on these sheets, no. Certain I was spread across the palms of a pair of soft, leaf-white hands, cupped and paired like turtle doves. I lay limp on the petal-smooth surface, rolling from one palm to the other, swaying my head left, Right, left, right, a yogic sequence. And my long, fine hair splay as my ivory body, bone thin in its nudity, blend with the blankness and the pallor of the supplicating prayer bead hands. I don't think I dreamt it all last night, though I remember this room, yet there was no ceiling. No, I gazed up at a blank, white, placid, gaseous void, a zephyr, undivided form, non-delimited being, gathering like mist, rolling in and out of itself like breathing, rising to form the figure of a face. The bones of cheeks, gray-white sunken eyes, and rose-red lips, red as blood, coming closer, closer, a fragrant breath whispering a gentle, caressive breeze, ages forgotten prayers in the language of the long dead Canaanites. And when eyes appeared from behind the fog as two moons burning, ensconced in a bed of clouds, my body was as silver, reflective, a lake, my heaving breaths smoking like incense up and up, congealing in a oneness with all the atmosphere. I don't think I dreamt at all last night, though I was ill-positioned, I do not recall there being a window here. No, when the winds had nudged me over to my side, I saw the east, a burning sun, a great forest of jasmine flower on a bed of old stones, crumbling. I saw parched and thirsty rivers. I saw pillars and monuments withered by time, great faces with wings reclaimed by vine and cypress, broken by tempests, stripped by bandits, hacked by thieves, and all of them wet as if a fount, as if a spring within the earth was blood. The red sun burned, but I could not look away. I smelt smoke and fire and tasted mother's tears. I felt the heat, perspiration pooling on my white, delicate, steaming skin. I don't think I dreamt at all last night, though I cannot recall this cherry wood armoire or the oil painted canvas, nor the unevenness of the plaster and the creases of this wall, no. When the heat and the flames and the sun of the east began to mar my frail position, those great hands shifted me and turned my sights to the west, where I saw the never-ending sea in all its vastness, its promise, its opportunity, and its unforgivability, its penchant for calamity, its terribleness. I saw great ships, excavators, and oil riggings, and they were spilling from them a blackness, seeping, pouring, gushing, springing faster, 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 turning the deep blue of the surface that hides its delicate world from the cruelty of the air of man's, darker, darker, and darker, until in the distance I saw flames dancing, fire, rapturous it was. It entranced me, and after a time, all I knew had little blaze. I don't think I dreamt at all last night, for I could not have believed in rooms or boxes or luxuries. Only fire, fire to the west, fire to the east, and that mysterious enchanting unknown above. A mother's lips, echoes of prayer, mantras of safety, and below my purse in the flowery surface of skin, the garb of blood and nerves and bone and sinew where seeds are planted, where hearts are molded in nativity. I don't think I dreamt it all last night, for sleepless I was for sure. So answer me, why? Why does this waking haunt me? Why do I feel the fire closing in, while for everyone else there is not even an atom's weight of change? Thank you very much. Um, okay, so I have... Uh,